Democratic campaign 2020. Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg hosting a town hall meeting in Sacramento tonight. This is one of his supporters on stage right now. This is a live look at Cesar Chavez Plaza. You can see the huge crowd that is gathering. The rally running more than an hour behind schedule. The campaign is ramping up efforts all across California with just two and a half weeks before the primary. The latest California poll from Capital Weekly shows Buttigieg in third place, just missing that all important 15% threshold. Bernie Sanders extending his lead in the top spot ahead of the March 3rd primary. Now, California would be the big win on Super Tuesday. 494 delegates up for grabs, the most of any state. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is joining us live at the rally with this push for votes. Rachel? Now, this is especially. It is the big push for votes. He's done well in Iowa. He's done well in New Hampshire. And all of these folks behind me, there's more than 500 people at this point in time, have come to see their candidate sand sound bites. They really want to hear what he had to say. We actually shot some video earlier. People say the former South Bend mayor connects with folks and that they believe in his progressive policies. The first openly gay presidential candidate led in Iowa and New Hampshire, and now he's heading into Nevada. It's not surprising, says West. Sacramento's mayor, Christopher Cabaldon, who is also openly gay, he picked Buttigieg to be a leader early on. To see that Americans embracing him means something to all of us in this country who have been struggling with who we are. And today uh, we have a country that's saying we all kind of come together, unify, and bring the country forward. I'm grabbing the mic. Joining me right now is CBS 13 political analyst Gary Dietrich, and we have the lieutenant governor who's prepping the crowd here for, right. for him to come on. You know, he's heading to Turlock tonight. Why Sacramento and then Turlock? Beautiful Turlock. Because the Central Valley is really where the moderate voters in California are. That's his lane this year in 2020. That's the voters he's going after uh, in preparation for our huge Super Tuesday primary. Speaking of that, we used to have the primary in California in June, and they moved it up, and that is going to be very pivotal in this year's general election. Absolutely, because there's no question that in, when our voting starts on Super Tuesday, there's not going to be a front runner. There is not going to be somebody's locked this up, and so it's really going to be game on here on Super Tuesday. California is going to be fortunate. We are going to have a, a chance to have a say this year. All right, thank you so much, Gary. Of course. They are prepping the crowd. He's about an hour late. That happens sometimes with presidential candidates. So we're going to bring you this information coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. But a lot of energy here. People really excited to hear what he has to say live in person. And he's supposed to be in Turlock, so this is going to slide everything a little later tonight. All right, Rachel, thank you.